We'll get the What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Think you need to leave now? Do we? You do. Well, let's go then. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils? Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Whoa! A man? Nay, a wolf. Grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. You were expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is ripe and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? Tis not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow! Up for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. Here, goat. Here, princess. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. All right, time to try the bell. Come on, let's go see the beller. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? This way, your grace. Come on, take you back to the Peller. Misses you something awful. <laughs> You're no roach, but I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Princess! Goat of mine! 
dearest, sweetest goat. Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The White Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. this do? She miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. Twas the omens told me. Great. So I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave thrown, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year. But we'll find a way, all the same. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then 
May they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Oswin? Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Looks like rain. We've a hero in our midst. The horses! Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. 
I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a ploughing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important, or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Need to tend to something first. Be quick! And me? What am I to do in the meantime? Sober up. Doing. Geralt! <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? 
And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama. You've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Serard, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Why well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh-huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is... Listen. I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some boar with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Kyle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course, provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikeyle once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. They hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Fire Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Hmm? Thank you. Geralt, can you hear me? How close is it? Where are you? Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait. This Xenovox. Can I contact you with it, or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful. Let's try 
Kira's lamp. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And a daughter. To the top! Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Major's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead! Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone! They've all abandoned me! Even he who promised me everlasting love! You will abandon me as well! If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No! They came to rob and kill! They thought us rich, believed we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him, my beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and, and... Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere, all over me like insects. My face, my hands, I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart and I could not even scream. Have I not seen?
suffered enough. Why can't I leave this place? How can I help you? The curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a wraith? And your beloved, he dead too? Grail? No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest, should lift it. I loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Fine. I'll talk to Graham. Where will I find him? He lives in the village on the lakeshore, yet... What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember, and want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please. I want to talk. You death, damn it! I told you! Who are you? I'm a witcher. What of it? Why should I care? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It were Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it, for Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape! First, then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower, hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means... Is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. You mean... She was alive the whole time? But... It can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged her, open your eyes. I never thought... Annabelle needs you. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. What can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. Those are... her bones? Yes. Give them here. And leave me be.
lost. She's a best at, and now she's free. Not so fast, Roach. The old dog demanded six sucklings. You didn't bring but a single scurvy run. No wonder he cursed us. I were doomed. You's the one brought soured wine. Curse is your fault as much as mine. What are you doing here? What? This one flying from the moon? We're making offerings to the old god, clearly. You too can seek his aid. That's if you got fit in offerings. He scorned ours, and then cursed the old village. The All God, you call him. First I've heard. Is some new deity? Nay, tis ancient, revered by our forefathers. They say it were like this. Roslav of Oriton came here to gather brushwood. And suddenly, for no reason, a bush burst into flame. Then, Roslav heard a voice from the ground. Demand an offerings and obedience. We've been coming here since then, bearing gifts. In exchange for which the All God watches over us, keeps us from evil. Mm-hmm. Plain to see that. So, what's wrong with your offerings? You needn't mock us. You can see right well we brought scraps. Before the war, I wouldn't give this such to me elms. But what can we do? Such are the times, and they're like to get worse. All God said if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and lotusks or some such will devour the harvest. I could intercede on your behalf with this All God of yours. Got a feeling we'd come to an understanding. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to try. To speak with him, you have to stand afore the altar and cry out, All God, help a poor wretch in need. Who knows, he might just listen to a foreigner. Oh, all God, help a poor wretch in need. Pretty please. How dare you disturb my divine rest, mortal? I dare disturb it because I want your divine self to lift the, uh, curse you cast. Those peasants really don't have- They must bring worthy offerings or they shall face drought. Driving hail, earthquakes, avalanches. I have spoken. Avalanches? Here? Huh. How would that work? No answer from the All God. Fine. We can finish our conversation when I find him. Voice came from underground. What? Who dares disturb my divine being? Geralt of Rivia. Pleasure. Huh. Expected the All God to be corporeal in form, but never thought he'd be corpulent. Fattened up nicely at those peasants' expense. Expense? Expense? Not a word about the help I give in return. Blessings, absolutions, enlightened advice. Believe me, these folks need all of it. I'd watch over them still if they fulfilled their end. But lately, they offer these pathetic scraps. That they steal from the mouths of their children. And to make matters worse, you cast a curse on them. And I'll not lift it till they bring me worthy offerings. I'm to settle for curves and whey. Not a chance. And you can tell them that. Listen here, Lord Ass. You're gonna be satisfied with what you get, or I'll feed you to the ravens. Plowing reformers. No, fine, fine. I'll sup more modestly. But just till the end of the war, not one day longer. Anything new? Talk to your old god, face to face. And? Will he show us mercy? He will. Promise to be pleased with whatever you bring. <laughs> I told you. I told you the old god's merciful understanding. Thanks, Witcher. Oh, one last thing. Did you know there's a crypt beneath this hill? Might want to take a look sometime. Architecture is fascinating.
Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Fike Isle's free of its curse. And you withheld this news until now? Why? I gave you a Xenovox. But the curse, what was its source? The dark spell clung to the spirit of Annabelle, the Lord's daughter. To free her and the Isle, Graham, her beloved, had to help me. So it ended well. Hmm. I lifted the curse, so the island's clear. Annabelle's soul is free. Thing is, turned out she's a pesta. Graham's dead. And you fail to notice? You're losing your touch? Be that as it may, Fike Isle is free of its curse. That's important. I'm almost inclined to say good work. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps... perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Blackbow. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. Nice village. Aye. A real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied all. Fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. When did all this start? Three years back. I remember, it was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled the hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands. And the leaves shriveled and yellowed though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the ladies' help. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is? They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't you treat this evil light. Be gone! Whoa! Come you no closer. I know whence you come. Come on. The powers that protect me. Whoa! They sense whence you come. Hey ya!
Why have you come? Why spill this blood? Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? I was attacked. This is my prison. A fortress besieged. Murderers I await. And my forest protects me. Murderers? Murderous sisters. Killed my body. Now my soul they hunt. For I defy them. Who are you? I abandoned my circle. Where I kept the balance. The crones killed me and cursed my ghost. Never heard of a druid circling Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows, helplessly sliding over us. Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here, in fetters of magic. I wandered endlessly, a labyrinth of me. The children, I know all. I know what awaits them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I can be a gale, a gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. I don't believe you, spirit. Too many claim you're evil. Your words alone, not enough. Dead of me. And against you will rise. All the powers of nature. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Was something lurking there? Not sure what was lurking there, but it lurks no more. What did you do, Witcher? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost. Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. Payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. <laughs> 